I'm gonna show you how to report batch results. So this was a comment that I got from one of our watchers. So I'm gonna show you how to report your batch file for all your compounds, for all your samples. So let's get going. Over here, we're on the report format page. So if you don't know how to get there, data browser, and over here, you can click report and you'll be in the report section. There's also these tabs on the bottom here. In order to get all the compounds for all the analytes on one page, there's little icons up here. The one that you want is called summary compound. I believe it's also one of these reports over here that's pre-made. I think it might be in report two. So there's two ways of doing it. You can either have a blank template and drag from above to customize or just pick one of these templates on the side. Shimatsu always gives you like 40 ways to do one thing. But now that you have the format, what you need to do is you need to go to data and look, here's some PDA demo data. And what you can do is you can just highlight and just drag in your file, right? And then so you can see here, and then you gotta kind of expand it, right? So you can kind of get all of that. Obviously that'll keep going for the subsequent pages. So th this is how you do it. And then if you ever wanted to customize anything on these report templates, you can right click here and you can go to properties. And so a lot of people don't know that you can do that, but anytime you see a table, you can go to right click and properties. And then over here, you can see, you can start really just changing the contents of the cells, the different scalings, what kind of items you want to display. So that's all there. I would recommend doing this if you're processing samples all the time and you want the same report format it's worthwhile to customize this. Now, if you're in an academic setting and you really just want the data, an easier way to do it would be to go to browser and copy and paste. Let me show you what that looks like. So say I go to Quant Browser over here and I just opened up a bunch of tutorial data. And what's a nice feature is everything can be copy and pasted to Excel. So say I wanted to get all of this stuff over here. I can right click, copy, um, you can do like copy entire table or you can just copy, either way works. And so what browser does is it only gives you um, one compound at a time across all the different files. So you'd have to actually go back to browser and just toggle. So if you look over here, toggle the targets and then you can copy it and paste again if you'd like. If you're doing things in an academic setting, like just copying and pasting everything in Excel and making your own template, that might be easier. So those are the couple of ways you have to export all your data across all compounds, across all files uh, for the batch reporting style. I hope that was helpful for you. If you want more videos, go ahead and keep commenting. I might not be able to get to all of them, but as you've seen, I can get to some of them. See you in the next one.